From the deadly new MERS virus to Ebola and HIV, nearly 70% of viruses that plague humans today originated in other animals. According to a new estimate, there are roughly 320,000 viruses in the mammalian kingdom alone, and the vast majority of them are still undiscovered. In order to catalog viral diversity in mammals, researchers analyzed 1,897 samples collected from flying fox bats. Already known to be carriers of the deadly Nipah virus, researchers discovered 58 additional viruses within the bats, many of which had never been seen before in humans. Researchers then calculated that if each of the 5,486 known mammals carried 58 unique viruses, there would be around 320,000 viruses in other mammals. Now, this is a rough estimate, and researchers are planning follow-up studies in other mammals to find out if the viral diversity of other animals is indeed comparable to that of the flying fox. Identifying these viruses, especially those with the potential to spread easily to humans, could help prevent future pandemics such as the SARS outbreak. This study is the first statistically supported estimate of mammalian viruses, which also means that finding all mammalian viruses suddenly becomes a financially feasible goal. The team estimates that it could identify all mammalian viruses over a 10-year period for about $6.3 billion. Now, you might be thinking that $6.3 billion is a huge amount, but when compared to the cost of global pandemics, such as the SARS outbreak, which cost $16 billion alone, this amount is trivial. Animals are not the only ones that are infecting humans with deadly viruses. Climate change is also releasing deadly viruses trapped in ice, and some of them are quite new to science. Usually, superficial permafrost layers about 50 centimeters or 20 inches deep melt every summer. But now, global warming is gradually exposing older permafrost layers and in the process is releasing ancient viruses and bacteria that have been absent for thousands of years and that we have never met before. Permafrost acts like a deep freezer for microbes and viruses because it is cold, there is no oxygen, and it is very dark. Once taken out of this deep freezer, these microbes are capable of springing back to life. In 2016, a 12-year-old boy died after being infected by anthrax. Upon investigations, scientists found that over 75 years ago, a reindeer infected with anthrax died and its frozen carcass became trapped under a layer of frozen soil. It stayed there until a heat wave in the summer of 2016 melted the permafrost. This exposed the reindeer corpse and released infectious anthrax into nearby water, soil, and food supplies. As a result, more than 2,000 reindeer grazing nearby became infected. Scientists fear this may not be an isolated case. Frozen permafrost soil is the perfect place for bacteria to remain alive for a very long time, even millions of years. Scientists have discovered fragments of RNA from the 1918 Spanish flu virus in corpses buried in mass graves in Alaska's tundra. Smallpox and even the bubonic plague are also likely being buried in Siberia and if we are not being careful, could be released as a consequence of permafrost smelting. These deadly infections of the 18th and 19th centuries may come back, especially near the cemeteries where the infected were buried. So, alongside the estimated 320,000 viruses which exist in mammalian species that are alive today, the melting ice could potentially open a Pandora's box of diseases, which, if unleashed, could wreak havoc on our ecosystems.